plans today. We were going to go to Corcovado National Park, but as you can see outside, it's been raining all night long. The roads are a mess. Everything is super flooded and probably pretty dangerous even on the motorcycle. I don't think we're going anywhere anytime soon. Anybody that's been following along with our journey already knows we're no stranger to the rain. We went backpacking and camping in the rain. We've been driving in the rain. We have been living as one. We have been one with the rain for months now. It actually cools it down when it's super hot, so there's a lot of positives that come with it. I was really excited to go to Corcodova, Corca Corcovado. Corcovado National Park. It's really hard to say that Corcovado. I always say Corcodoba, Corcovoda, Corcoboba. Corcovado National Park. I was super excited to go there, but the rain kind of ruined our plans. Even though that is the most biodiverse place on the planet, where we are at right now is absolutely insane as well. Like yesterday, I got to pet a wild crocodile. So we're here in the Osa Peninsula in Puerto Jimenez and our camp host, Asa. Asa? What's his name? Adonis. Adonis is our camp host's name. He is also a crocodile tamer. He has a crocodile that's a pet, basically. He's been feeding it since it was just a little tiny thing, and now it is an absolutely enormous dinosaur. I'm gonna ride it. Yeah. Adonis is gonna take care of us. Oh my gosh. Right here, right there. Dude. Kiko, vamos. No way. Come here, Tortuga. Will this crocodile not eat those turtles? We are literally in a National yeah. Geographic movie right now. <laughs> What are these guys doing? Oh! No, no, he won't eat. He won't eat the turtle. He that he's not Why not? Why won't he eat the turtle? No, because the 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 shell is like a you know it's really hard, hard like a stone, so yeah. it's impossible. This guy is gonna try and bite us. No, no. Wow. No. What do you mean? No? How do you know? You can tell. He's not gonna try to come up here and get us. But he's just like waiting until we're not paying attention or we fall asleep. This guy is literally Snow White of the Costa Rican rainforest. He brings a little bag of chicken and all the animals just flock to him. All right, they keep saying, be careful. They said, don't run away. The big one's coming. I think if you run away, he wants to chase you. It's like a pit bull. Or, or it's just feeding time, dude. <laughs> Yeah, the guy in the back, he's the owner, and this is as close as he'll get. He's got goosebumps right now. <laughs> this is the one that's your boyfriend? Yeah, that's the one, yeah. Chico, vamos, Chico. You see that, uh, that large figure moving in the water? Chico, venga, vamos. Yeah, don't stand behind me, because if I need to run, if I run into someone, I might die. Venga, papacito, venga. 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 Don't, don't run. Thank you. Chico, venga. Oh. Chico, Holy dinosaur. Fuera. Vamos. Chico, ven aquí. No. Fuera. Vamos, Chico. Fuera. Vamos. Fuera aquí. Vamos, Chico. This Vamos. one's got teeth. Vamos, fuera. This one's Ven got aquí. Teeth. Vamos, fuera. Fuera. Vamos, fuera. Vamos. Vamos, fuera. No problem. Yeah. You keep saying that, but then you keep backing up. It's a dinosaur. As long as you touch right here, it like closes his eyes and then he doesn't know. Pura vida. He never he never bites somebody that he doesn't eat all the way, so nobody lives to tell the tale. Look at those teeth. No. See you later, alligator. In a while, crocodile. Days like this can super ruin your plans, but it just depends on how you look at it, you know? So we wanted to go out and adventure today, but instead we're kind of stuck here in the van and I'm just taking that opportunity to make some zucchini bread. So we'll just have a nice cozy day, bake some fresh bread, maybe put some of that strawberry jam on it that we made the other day. I would say that it's more of a cozy, lazy day for me because I basically just get to sit and relax while Allie goes ahead and makes this delicious bread and then I get to enjoy it. 
I think the rain is looking like it's kind of clearing up, so maybe it's not gonna rain again later today. We might be able to get outside the van and do some type of activity, but until then, we're gonna bake the zucchini bread. Moment of truth, pull out that zucchini bread. Hey, what do you think? Oh, it's a little brown. Oh, baby. Wow. That looks delicious. You wanna give it the fork test? Okay. We don't have toothpicks, so we have to go full of fork. Oh, it looks kind of soft. Coming out clean, clean, baby! But it's a cake. It's not a bread. Me and Allie were discussing just the other day. She said something about making zucchini bread, and I said, well, yeah, but we don't have any yeast. <laughs> Which makes me look like an idiot. I'm not an idiot. I've just been thinking about sourdough and making bread, and she was like, let's just make zucchini bread. And I was like, no, 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 we don't have any yeast, though. And she's like, well, it doesn't use yeast. It's not really bread, it's cake. Which makes so much sense because I love cake. <laughs> I love bread too, but I love cake. And I love zucchini bread. It's like absolutely my favorite bread. Learn something new every day. Oh, and now we're gonna put our brand new strawberry jam that we made on the uh, homemade zucchini bread. A couple days ago we made homemade strawberry jam, which we've never made before, came out perfectly, if I do say so myself. And uh, if you didn't know that zucchini bread and strawberry jam go together very well, now you know. Here you go. The zucchini bread is like just hot enough that it's like melting the jam. Oh, I'm in heaven. You're in heaven? Mm -hmm. You like it? Yeah. Good. It's pretty good actually, I like it a lot. I uh, doubled the amount of zucchini in this one. I felt like it needed more zucchini flavor. It's a hearty bread. Good. It's a cake. <laughs> it's a hearty cake with vegetables in it. Now that we're loading up mm. on cake with fruit frosting, I think Allie's gonna get in a workout. <laughs> I'm gonna do something a little more leisurely. <laughs> guys we got a break in the weather it stopped raining the sun came out for just enough time for us to get in a little bit of exercise I went for an amazing run right on the water Trent even got in his form of meditation we both got some nice time to decompress <sighs> this was perfect so I actually love fishing and it's not that I actually like catching fish or eating the fish it's like the act of fishing because most of the time I don't ever even catch a fish but it's just like a type of meditation. You're out here, you're practicing your cast, you're being methodical, and at the same time, you can process a lot of things. You can think about anything that's going on in your life. And I really appreciate that. We've had a nice break in the weather, however. Looks like it's probably gonna start raining again here in a minute. We can see some clouds off in the distance. It's also low tide, and the water's coming in. We're parked on the beach. So we're gonna take the bike, we're gonna get back to the van, hopefully beat the rain. Well, it could be worse. We don't have any leaks. We have fresh zucchini bread. We've got Wi-Fi here at this campsite. True. It's not terrible. The rain like actually cools it down pretty significantly. I've actually felt more comfortable at this campsite and sleeping here than I have for probably the last week, minus when we were in the mountains. I love the mountains. I wanna live in the mountains. I wanna just be in the mountains all the time. I'm excited for South America because I know there's a lot of mountains. What do we do now? No, I don't wanna do a face mask. I mean, we're probably gonna just like Netflix and chill. We got zucchini bread, we got fresh jam, we got stuff to make food if we get hungry. You wanna make smoothies? We might be able to make some smoothies. 
Why are you only wearing one sock? I took my sock off. Oh yeah. <laughs> I was getting a foot rub and I didn't get a foot rub on both feet. I only got a foot rub on one foot. So I only got one sock. No. <laughs> Para ti? Wow, gracias. It looks really good. I wonder how it's going to taste. To rainy days. Cheers. Recording. What you doing? Uh, I can't film and drink what, at the same time. This is what happens when Allie tries to take a cheers and film at the same ah! time. <laughs> she ends up on cleaning duty. <laughs> it's one of those things that when you're trying to film your everyday stuff, it seems really easy, but once you put the camera in your hands and you start trying to do some of these activities, it becomes a little bit sloppy. Wow, this is delicious. Like cheersing, for instance. Yeah, it does taste pretty good. Mm. Oh man, we gotta make these all the time. Yeah. Pineapple, coconut milk, ice. That's it. Pina colada. Add a little rum if you're feeling saucy. Well, as it would seem, the universe is absolutely conspiring against us today. We decided to hang out in the van, watch a little Netflix, and the internet went out. Per usual in Central America, it's unreliable internet. We're gonna go out in the dark. We're gonna get a workout in. It's still pouring. It's still pouring. There's a little there's a little pavilion. You've seen it in the previous vlog. We're gonna go get a workout in and then we're gonna take a shower and then we're probably gonna go to bed and hopefully tomorrow will just be better than today. But at least we'll have gotten a workout in. Yeah, so we're gonna go get our workout in. We'll catch you guys later. Well guys, we have a little bit of updating to do. <laughs> we not only went out and had a nice little exercise, it was pouring rain. The whole time. Then we took a shower and on the way back to the van from the shower, it's a pouring rain, so we kind of took a second shower. We ran back without shoes, and between the showers and the van, Allie stepped on something or got bit by something. Long story short, she's got a really fat toe. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> We're not gonna show it to you. It stopped hurting finally. I was a little nervous at first because it was like intensely stinging and burning. It felt like someone was just like slicing a knife into my toe. Um, and we couldn't find like a bite or like a opening or any or a thorn no, So uh, Trent really gave fat. me some ice and told me to just <laughs> calm down and now it's just super swollen I think she's gonna live <laughs> also The internet's back on hey Watching a little uh, my next guest with David Letterman chilling in the rain having a good night We want to thank you guys so much for coming along on this docile tranquil, relaxed adventure Super. in our van pretty much all yeah. day. We'll catch you guys on the next one. Sleep well. Good night, everybody. Adios.